IT engineers have been dealing successfully with cybersecurity issues for years, and there are many security products in daily use in enterprise networks. Why is cybersecurity such a challenge on control networks? Why can't the same tools and techniques be used to secure these systems? The answer to these questions lie in understanding the unique requirements of control and SCADA networks and applying cybersecurity strategies in ways that are appropriate to these applications. Many IT engineers do not understand why cybersecurity in control and SCADA networks lags so far behind IT networks. The simple answer is that the design and operation of most security solutions are based on assumptions that are often not valid for control and SCADA systems. These assumptions begin with the basic security focus of the device and extend to almost every facet of product operation performance specifications, reliability requirements, the software and hardware architecture of the product, and many more. In IT networks, the critical asset we want to protect is information, customer records, credit card numbers, employee files, and many other types of data. These systems are designed to protect the confidentiality of this data at any cost, even if it means shutting down the network to do so. In contrast, the critical asset in control and SCADA networks is the plant process. The plant must operate continuously with no impact to productivity or safety. Shutting down the network even for a few minutes is just not an option in most control networks. So availability is the top priority for these systems. Traditional security devices do a great job of securing enterprise networks, but they typically cannot support the high levels of availability required by control networks. We need security solutions that can be installed, configured, tested, and even upgraded without impacting communications in the plant network. Another significant difference between IT and control networks lies in the capabilities of the network devices that we're protecting. To illustrate this, let's look at how vulnerabilities are typically managed. In IT networks, the common approach is to use automated tools to scan all the devices, find out which devices need to be upgraded, and then install the upgrades. So let's apply that same approach in a control network. In fact, we don't even need to try this for ourselves. We can simply learn from one of the cybersecurity incidents documented in our incident database. In this case, the customer accidentally scanned a set of PLCs on their SCADA network and caused them all to crash. The PLC's network interface was so fragile that just the act of scanning the device caused it to fail. Clearly, we need to adopt a different approach to vulnerability management in control networks. So exactly how do we go about upgrading our controllers? These devices do not run a general purpose operating system like Windows. They are all based on proprietary operating systems. The patches are available only from the OEM vendor, and many of these vendors are not yet able to even provide updates. And even if they are available, many plants run continuously and only shut down every one or two years. So the controllers will operate for months or years with outdated firmware. Some of the devices cannot even be updated in the plant. They must be returned to the vendor to do this. And in some industries, for example pharmaceuticals, the entire production line may have to be recertified after any change to the production equipment. And this certification process can be a multi-million dollar investment. Another area where these applications differ is in the operating environment and lifetime expectations. Most IT security devices are deployed in an office environment or server room where the operating conditions are well controlled. Not so on the plant floor. The electrical and environmental conditions in the plant are much more severe and they will very quickly cause a typical commercial grade product to degrade or fail completely. Any device deployed in this environment must be designed specifically for these conditions. Another major difference is the expected life cycle of the products. IT devices are designed with the expectation that technology advancements will render them obsolete in only a few years. Again, very different on the plant floor. Life cycles are often measured in decades. The design choices in these products must be made carefully to ensure that the product can be supported for a very long time after it's installed. The key to success is not throwing away or ignoring the lessons learned in the IT environment. Instead, we need to adapt these successful strategies to the special requirements of control and SCADA networks. Control engineers need ultra-reliable hardware. They need to be able to install, configure, test, and manage the security solution without shutting down the plant. 
and they need solutions that work together with the controllers and network protocols they are using today. All of these requirements are embodied in the Tofino Industrial Security Solution. Be sure to check out the next video in this series to find out more about it. Contact your Belden Hirschman representative today and get Tofino Security Solutions working for you. Don't wait. The time to act is now.